Right guys, so you see this right here? This is my old iPod from like four years ago. I mean, you can, yeah, you can see me here. This is my old iPod from like four or five years ago. I got it when I was in like year eight at school and I don't go to school anymore, so it's pretty old. And if I didn't get it in year eight, then it must have been year nine, so four or five years ago. But I found this the other day. I mean, I never really lost it, but I stopped using it when I got a phone. When I got a good phone, I stopped using this because it, my phone could do everything this could with the addition of calling and texting and everything. So, so I went to reset it the other day, but but before I did, I wanted to, you know, take a look at all the old photos and videos. I've got a bunch of photos here that I'm going to react to. I'm going to show them off in this video today. It's very embarrassing for me. All right, so I've uploaded the photos to my computer. So let's just take a look at them. So this is the first one. Now, you've already probably seen this in the thumbnail or something. But let me just warn you guys. This is going to be cringe. Like, just know that I used to walk around like this. This used to be my daily hairstyle. I used to go out in public like this. Like, I actually thought it looked good. This wasn't a joke or anything. I seriously went out like this, went to school like like this whatever this was only three years ago and three years is really not that long i guess we should start off with the obvious point the hair so the top of the hair just looks it looks fucking ridiculous what what even i have no words for that hairstyle i, I really don't what was i thinking and what was everyone in my life thinking i was the living version of an ice gem not only the top of the hair but the side of it i mean the sides were way too short I'm practically bold. Everything else is more or less the same. I mean, I don't know what I was doing with this down here. I really don't know why I used to tie my hoodie like that. I mean, some people, it looks good when they do that, but I'm not really feeling it on myself. This photo was taken at the same place at the same time as the other one. It just shows how big my hair was. Just look at it. I look like a living paintbrush. I look like Jedward. In fact, I remember some people telling me that I look like them. It's just interesting to look at this photo. It's just like, it's just fascinating to me how I actually went out in public with this hair style. I actually thought it looked good. I didn't really, I wasn't doing it for a joke or anything. Before I move on to the next one, I forgot to mention, at the time, every single one of these photos I'm about to show you was taken. I had a girlfriend at the time. Like, I actually had a girlfriend at the time. But now that I actually look, you know, not as crazy as I did back then. I can't get a girlfriend now. So in this photo, I guess my hair was like the same length as it was in the other photos, but I wasn't, you know, I didn't style it up. If I had to choose between both styles, I would definitely choose this one. This one still looks pretty bad. I mean, the sides are way too short. You can barely see it, but you can kind of see that the sides are just way too short for the top. You guys always make jokes about my forehead. I mean, just look at this photo. It wasn't even visible back then. But yeah, it kind of looks all right like this, but I still think uh, way too long on the top. So here's the fourth photo. I mean, what what can I I say about it. This was in the morning just before going to school. I can't, I, I can't, I, I'm just out of words. I can't, you guys are probably thinking of so many things right now to roast me about. If we zoom in a little bit, you can kind of see like my dark under eyes. Like you see how under my eyes, it's just dark. Even if I get a good amount of sleep, they'll still be there. Like this photo shows how skinny I used to be. Like I'm not saying I'm massive now or anything, but I've definitely put on like muscle since then. So at this point in time, I was trying out different hairstyles and the hairstyle that I was trying to go for, it was like just completely slicked back. It really didn't work out for me. And even I, at the time knew that this looked bad. I only went out in public with it like once. But yeah, that was more or less what I looked like back then. Now I'm not going to end the video here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go on that website where you upload a photo of yourself and it tells you how attractive they think you are. Like you'll upload a photo and it'll say, oh, you're 60% attractive or something. So what I'm going to do is upload a few photos from back then and then upload a few photos from now. And I want to see if it thinks I'm more attractive back then than I am now. Select gender, male. I'll upload this photo first. Um, 28% you are ugly. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Now I'm gonna use this photo. 39%, you are ugly. Uh, I mean, I'll take that. Now let's upload a current photo. Like, you know, just one from my Instagram that I put on like a week ago. All right, so I'm gonna go with this photo now. Uh, it's current, it's pretty current. <laughs> Ninety-one percent. You are beautiful. I mean, I'm taking it. Okay. I mean, like I said, this is just a website. It is just a computer program or whatever. But still, seventy-six percent. You are pretty. Still better than the first two photos. So I'll take it. Just wanted to see what that website would say about it. But yeah, I just thought I would make this video today to kind of show you guys what I used to look like. I found my old iPod. I was about to reset it, but I thought I could make a video on it before I do that. Yeah. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. It really helps me out a lot, and I appreciate all the support. And uh, definitely subscribe subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I think that's it. So thank you all for watching and I will see you all in my next video.